here in this video we're gonna compare cisco nexus 9000 solutions which one you would choose cisco nexus in nxos or aci mode yes we're gonna talk about the advantages and disadvantages and you as a network engineer which mode you should learn if you still don't know the difference kindly watch this video for those who are new to this channel welcome I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the Cloud Data Center. Rock star! And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing Cisco Nexus 9000 in NXOS mode pros first basic familiarity for most network engineers because we are using Cisco IOS like command syntax second we are already using traditional network concepts and if you're already familiar with Cisco Nexus family of switches such as N7K, N5K, etc., it's easy to adopt to Nexus 9000 NXOS mode. Last, by default, Nexus 9000 is not scalable, but automation and programmability features are all available. Next, NXOS mode cons. First, we do traditional provisioning, which means we connect first to the switch, assign IP address, and configure basic settings. Now, after you configure the basic settings, you connect it to manage the switch, and then to configure and operate the switch, you do the traditional way instead, such as SSH to the Nexus appliance and configure your desired configuration. This traditional provisioning and configuration operation is not ideal for large data center environments. You have an option to use Python scripts to automate, but these are new skills to learn. Question is, are you willing to learn Python network automation? You also need to learn advanced data center technologies, such as PXLAN, EVPN, MPBGP concepts, and commands. Now, is this the right mode for you? If your data center have many switches and not open for Python network automation, maybe not. But if you really want to learn Python network automation for NXOS, open a web browser and type www.zurian.com. This will take you to the Zurian website. Click training, and this will redirect you to the training webpage. Here you will see various courses. You can filter Python courses, and now only Python related courses are displayed, such as Python for network engineers, data center use cases and python and cybersecurity web attacks cisco nexus 9000 in aci mode pros first cisco aci is a scalable solution because it automates the provisioning if you have 20 50 or hundreds of switches initial provisioning is automatically configured such as ip addressing routing loopback interface vxlan and many others. Next, centralized configuration and policy and automated configuration. You don't need to configure VLANs, SVIs on every single switch. Next, no need to learn advanced technologies such as VXLAN, EVPN, MPBGP, and complex routing. And the advanced part is ACI has the visibility up to the virtual or container network level. Yes, it sees the virtual machines and container information. So basically, it solves the disadvantage of traditional CLI base switch, traditional provisioning, traditional configuration and operations, not scalable, and you need to learn and create Python scripts for automation. You also need to learn advanced technologies such as VXLAN, EVPN, MPBGP concepts. Next. Cisco Nexus 9000 in ACI mode cons. First, 
Software Defined Networking or SDN Solutions require new set of skills. We use graphical user interface primarily or most of the time. So goodbye to Cisco CLI configuration. But, but show commands is still available. Next, creating policy can be complicated and tedious sometimes. And troubleshooting is very different compared to the traditional CLI based switch. If you don't mind learning ACI, which can be complicated, but only at first. And if you want to get away with Python scripting, Cisco Nexus 9000 in ACI mode is for you. I hope I have answered your question and everything is clear now. Which mode is better in your data center network environment? Is Cisco ACI better than Cisco Nexus 9000 in NXOS mode? Comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to hit the like button.